Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club on Sunday afternoon, August the 14th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Southern California Racing Report. Let's go to the Race 9 feature at Del Mar this afternoon, folks, 6 p.m. Pacific Post Time. This is the John C. Maybe Stakes, 9 furlongs on the turf, grade 2, fillies and mares, 3 years old, and up race 4, $250,000. Contenders number seven, Celtic Princess, number three, Wasted Tears, number one, Harmonious, and number two, Cozy Rosy. For you folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts this afternoon, John C. Maybe was an American thoroughbred racehorse owner and breeder whom the New York Times subsidiary company About.com called a California racing icon. He's a native of Seymour, Iowa. Is a young man of 20. He moved to San Diego, California due to its climate, which was more suitable to his health problems, having suffered from both pneumonia, pneumonia and bronchitis. He, there he established Johnny's Market on 43rd Street. He turned the grocery store into a highly successful Big Bear supermarket chain selling it in 1991. In 1957, he entered thoroughbred horse racing, pur purchasing three geldings at the Del Mar auction. His involvement led him and his wife Betty establishing a breeding farm, Golden Eagle Farm in Ramona, California, that the NTRA says became one of the most important in that state's history. They bred more than 170 stake winners, seven millionaire horses, most famous of which was Best Pal. Maybe he's earned the Eclipse Award for Outstanding Breeder in 1991, 97, and 98. He also served as director of the California Thoroughbred Breeders Association, was a member of the Jockey Club from 1985 to his death in 2002. In addition, he was a founding member of the Board of Directors of the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club. He served at the Racing Facilities President and then its Chairman for close to 25 years. Maybe was also one of the original members of the Board of Directors of the Breeders' Cup Limited. For a short time, John Maybe owned a 20% interest in the San Diego Chargers of the National Football League. Obviously, the John C. Maybe stakes here at Del Mar Racetrack today is named in his honor. This year's renewal of the graded stakes test number seven Celtic Princess, a Brazilian bred entry, has hit the board in power run fashion in three straight, winning twice. Jockey Rafael Bejarano has been at her irons on two previous occasions, posting a win and a place finishes back today for ride number three. Number three, Wasted Tears, a 5-1 to one shot, has won ten times in her career to date, racing at nine furlongs on the turf, has posted power run efforts in five straight, hitting the board in three of those adventures, winning twice. Race nine summary, number seven, Celtic Princess, tops my contenders list, which also includes number three, Wasted Tears, number one, Harmonious, and number two, Cozy Rosie, 7312 in the ninth from Del Mar, the $250,000 grade two, John C., maybe stakes. Bonus long shots, River Downs, race five. This might be a stretch, folks, but check out the 30 to one bomb, number seven, Queen's Destiny. Drops in class by seven units, decent overall speed for this five and a half for a long sprint. I guess my suggestion would be a $2 show bit. And eh, what the hell, $2 to win. Monmouth Park, race five, the eight to one shot, number eight side by side. The overall speed leader in this climbing field, spreading at today's distance to six furlongs on the dirt. So from Del Mar on a Sunday afternoon as we wrap up another racing week here in Southern California, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.